virtual and augmented reality displays strive to create immersive user experiences by providing a resolution, frame rate, and field of view that matches the perceptual capabilities of the human visual system. Foveated graphics approaches, including gaze contingent rendering, shading, compression, and display, have emerged as promising approaches, exploiting the well-known drop in acuity or ability to resolve spatial detail towards the periphery of our visual field to reduce resolution and save bandwidth. But what about the temporal resolution of our visual system? Our sensitivity to motion also varies across the retina. In fact, unlike our acuity, it peaks in the mid-periphery maybe to help us identify and avoid sudden threats. So why hasn't this also been used to save bandwidth? Well, in part, because it's not quite that simple. For one, our spatial and temporal sensitivities are not independent. A high spatial frequency may appear static, but reduce it a little, and suddenly the stimulus starts to appear to flicker without any change to its temporal frequency. But then drop the brightness a little, and it appears static again. And of course, all of this interplay depends on where the stimulus falls on the retina. So while we know trends, the potential of foveated graphics is currently hampered by the lack of an eccentricity dependent spatial temporal model of the visual system. Until now, that is. In this work, we experimentally measure and then computationally fit user data to derive a unified model of critical flicker fusion. In particular, we make the sampling of a seemingly large parameter space tractable by recognizing that eccentricity and spatial frequency are subject to the uncertainty principle. That is, low spatial frequencies cannot be well localized in that eccentricity. For example, a spatial frequency of zero cycles per degree is a stimulus that is constant across the entire retina, whereas high spatial frequencies can be well localized. This behavior is appropriately modeled by wavelets, and as such, we sample the space with a set of 2D Gabor wavelets chosen for their resemblance to neural activations in human vision. Similar to current foveated graphic systems, the model fits that we derive allow us to predict visual information that cannot be perceived by a user in the spatial domain. But our model is unique in also allowing us to predict what temporal information may be imperceivable for a certain spatial frequency, eccentricity, and display luminance. We then validate the model we derive with a user study also showing that it predicts imperceivable spatial temporal data better than several existing video quality metrics. Finally, we use our model to predict potential bandwidth saving factors of up to 3,500 times over unprocessed visual information and seven times over existing spatial only foveated models. As such, this work forms an enabling foundation for new foveated graphics approaches that exploit joint spatial temporal characteristics of human vision.